Hello and welcome to Seagull Social, episode 41. I'm your host, Maz, and of course, I am joined by the boys, Ben and Ryan. How are we doing, chaps? We all good? Mate, I'm all, all right, good, thank, mate. You. thank you very much. Yeah, not too bad. Good, good. So much for this episode. Yeah. I know, yeah. yeah well, no, nice listen, guest. Listen, to anyone who's, who's watching on YouTube, we've actually got Jack Grealish on the podcast. Yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> we had a little mix-up. <laughs> we had a little mix-up. No, we're only joking. Danny, as good as him, Danny too, welcome so. to the podcast. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Danny, how, how are we doing? You all good? I'm not too bad. How are you? Yeah, I'm all good. Thank you. I'm all, all good. good. Um, absolute pleasure to have you, mate. Um, and we're, yeah, yeah, really keen to, to get your thoughts. We're going to talk all about, you know, uh, stuff going on with yourself. Uh, we're going to discuss the West Ham game as well. And then we've got some questions as well on, uh, from Instagram and Twitter uh, to throw at you as well, if that's all good with you. Yeah, cool. Good stuff. All right. Well, let's kick off then. Um, I'll kick us off. Uh, and we just want to just, you know, address the, the elephant in the room, so to speak. Um, with, of course, everything that's going on with yourself personally. Um, so just, just just quickly, if you don't mind, just go talk us through as to sort of the reasoning. Uh, well, for anyone who's not aware, of course, you are leaving Brighton of Albion Football Club. Have you left already or are you in the process of leaving? So I've left already, but obviously my contract still runs with them until the uh, 30th of June. But effectively, I've, yeah, left. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. Um, so so the, yeah, the PL two season it. over then. So you got no more, no more matches. Yeah. So that that season was we were, we finished early. To be fair, we played all our games early, so we was off before most people. But the this, this season see. now, I think it is pretty pretty much done. Okay. Mm. Cool. Okay. And so so yeah, basically, if you don't mind, just talk us through like what what actually happened because mm. there's a lot of conflicting stories out there. I don't I don't know if you've seen yourself mm. on Twitter. You know, social media is always they loved having a little gossip, don't they? So yeah, what, what's so the reliable. truth? Like, what, yeah, 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 it's the most yeah. Un- unreliable source ever. So what's the truth? Like, what, you know, for everyone who's watching and listening, what is the truth? How did it all pan out? What happened behind closed mm. doors? As much as you can tell us, really. Yeah. No. Uh, so obviously I knew, you know, it was like decision times. So a few of the boys, we, we were all out of contract. I think there was at least 10 of us or something. Um, oh, wow. And uh, you just, you basically, you get pulled into to a meeting and uh, the academy managers there, your, your managers are there. And obviously they have meetings before about who they think could, um, could stay in the 23s next year or maybe go on loan or, or something like that. And they just pulled me in and it was pretty straightforward to be honest. They just said, look, we, we think you're ready to, Go and play first team, you know, and we feel like if if we keep you here, um, okay. Um, so yeah, unfortunately we had some uh, technical dif- difficulties there, uh, but we're all sorted now. Danny's back with us. Right, Danny, um, you were kindly just talking us through, uh, yeah, basically the whole uh, story behind what's been going on, and um, yeah, basically the truth behind it all, because we were hearing a lot of conflicting stories and stuff like that. So if you don't mind, just Talking us through that, that'd be great. Yeah, so um, basically, obviously, there were ten of us about about ten of us out out of contracts, and um, they pull you in. They they just they say how it is. Really, it's pretty straightforward. They said to me, "Look, um, we think you're ready for first team football, and uh, that that's that was the the goal for next year, rather than you know staying um, at Brighton and maybe being in the twenty threes or maybe having a, another year where I can just go on loan and not really have that kind of secure you know deal, which will probably helped me progress into the first team. They all came to the conclusion. And I think that was in my head as well. You know, I thought it was going to be the right time to um, move on. And, you know, I think everyone came to that, the same, you know, thing where, you know, the right time was to move on now and, and kind of push on my career and, and, and Brian do their own thing. Okay. So what, so, so did they, so just to be clear then, did they offer you a contract then? And then you said, basically, I want first team football. No. So, Basically, it's like what they say, really. So they 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 say, right, we're going to let you go. So that means obviously they are releasing right. releasing me as a footballer. Um, so it, it's in their hands to pretty much most extent. Obviously, whether you agree of it or, or don't, do you know what I mean? It, that's on you. Right. But really, mm-hmm. and it, realistically, that's they release me. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. With you. I'm with you. Okay. And just just to talk us through, obviously, you know, the your feelings. Your like straight away. What what you were sat there. Were you, were you gutted? Were you thinking about the future? Were you were you happy in a weird way? Like you know, you're going to get first team football. What were your emotions at the time? It, it, it's a weird one because um, without you know without sounding big headed or or anything like you don't think it's going to happen to you at all. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like you always mm. the way I've always put it now is I've always I would have rather gone out kind of more on, on my terms where you know when it's come out in the public it's in kind of it's in their kind of power and uh, rather be in my power that's what I'd wish but when I got told I mean 
it, it's a weird feeling. I knew um, it's just weird accepting the process is just going to end now. Do you know what I mean? I was there for nine mm-hmm. years, like, you know, doing the same journey every day of my life. Like, like that's never going to happen again. That, that's kind of the, mm-hmm. the things going through my head. But I was, I was happy because it's the first time in my life now where I'm kind of in control of my future rather than, you know, mm. Brian being in control of my future. And that's yeah. quite a, uh, a good thing to, to feel, I think. No, there was definitely like, there was definitely uproar with the fans. I think when we found out <laughs> certainly, and to make matters worse for the club, I think you were voted like PL two, like player of the month or something like that. Or nominee <laughs> yeah. this. Oh, so like no. Everyone was just like, seriously, like it, people were just tagging Brighton in the post from the Premier League. Mate, like, sure, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. It, was, when, when it I... wasn't good. Best timing. When that when nah. that happened, what, what was that? What was your reaction when he saw that on Twitter? Like, that he announced you as one of the nominees. Laughing, mate. Surely, don't yeah. well, she must have been. I mean, you know, no, I got I got a phone call before because obviously they put out that they they released me and that, and then obviously the the league said, or I don't know who said that I got obviously nominated to to be player of the month, and obviously you know, basically I'm not really a Brighton player now. Do you know what I mean? Like, because obviously mm, yeah, I've, I've left, so I've obviously get the phone call from um one of the managers there and they just say, look, uh, uh, you've been nominated for Player of the Month. Uh, <laughs> like, do you want it to go on social media or, or do you mind? And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I don't care. Do you know what I mean? I you were, fair, you like, just get it on there. Yeah, it'll help you out, won't it? It'll, be, make, yeah. it'll make you yeah. a big coop at the end of the day. But, mm. I mean, when obviously getting released and obviously being on Twitter myself and seeing a lot of the, the fans comment, you know, which was quite nice to see, do you know what I mean? It's quite nice, nice yeah. feeling that people were annoyed. Yeah. I knew it would probably cause a bit of a, an uproar again if, you know, Brian posted it after obviously releasing me. So I thought it was quite funny as well. But Having the last laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I just, just got a question. I've got like 50 odd likes or something. I just literally put like, this is just awful. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. 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 People, yeah. Just people, like, people were just tweeting full stops, weren't they? Just like full yeah. stops. Yeah. Just yeah. Just like, yeah. yeah. It was so, I just find it so bizarre at the, the timing of it all. And yeah, it was a bit, you know, yeah, it, it was all a bit strange to be honest with you. Just, just a question I've got, Danny. Um, are you, are you a Brighton fan? Are you, are you sort of like born and bred Brighton or what's your? No, so I'm, I'm actually a Chelsea fan. Obviously, my ah. old man was a Chelsea fan, so I followed in, in his footsteps. Obviously, being a Brighton for so long, became mm. kind of not attached to the club, but, you know, you want the club to do well and like mm. whenever you look at, if you're not watching a game, I'm always looking for, for Brighton. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them yeah. ones, but, but I, I'm not a, a, a fan as such. But I'll always yeah. like for the rest of my life, I'll always you know keep checking on them and, and see how, how they do. Still will check on us though, even though they've literally let you go. Do you reckon you'll still keep in touch with people at the club and stuff? Or? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I you know I've got mates that are in the first team. Obviously, I want them to do well and, and succeed. And mm. obviously, boys still playing at the twenty three, so. Um, it, it's a lot more than just kind of uh, like a job, you know. You do make good mates yeah. there and, and good relationships. Like, mm-hmm. I will definitely, obviously, next year wherever I am, will will carry on, you know, making sure that I'm checking in, looking at, at the first team and how they're doing, and, and probably not so much the twenty threes because you know, as I get older, I don't really know the players mm-hmm. that are younger. Mm-hmm. But uh, the first team, I'll, I'll always always keep an eye on. It's actually nice a question week. that someone asked, wasn't it, about the first team? What are you like? You say you're friends with some of the first team. Was there any of the main first teamers, like some of the bigger names? Did they really speak to the under 23s? Did they get involved much? Was there any, you know, helping hand, put your arm on your shoulder or anything? Um, it's hard, obviously, the last year with obviously COVID and that. Yeah, we were separated true. from the first team oh, yeah, because yeah. We, couldn't, we couldn't be in their bubble. Obviously, they had mm. uh, certain COVID tests and, and so did we. But before that, you know, the thing, the, the the good thing that about Brighton, which you know, I think a lot of people probably wouldn't realise or see, is everyone's very uh, like friendly. Every, everyone's good. Like it, when we go over with the first team, and even this year, it, nothing's awkward. Like they all they all talk to you. Really? They they will have conversations with you as if like as if you've been there a long time, and you know they they teach you and they coach you for the game, and it, they're they're all very very. You know, obviously, you get the ones that you know obviously don't speak very good English are kind of harder mm. to have that conversation with but you know like Dunkey and that uh, they're, 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 they're easy guys to, to, to get along with and, and, and to look up to you know even in training mm. you, you think he's, he's a class player so yeah, it, yeah. it is good I, I, I had that feeling about Dunk that he would be the one I mean is he the one that sort of most young 23s look up to and speak to the most out of the rest uh, 
it's hard because obviously different players in the 23s like yeah. different things. So if you mm-hmm. like, for an example, Basuma, who's like skillful, he's just got that slick about him. Do you know that that, that casual baller. swag? Where yeah, he's just, 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 yeah, he's just yeah, he's just got that tag. He's just got that tag as a mm. baller. That's what he is. And you know, players like in the twenty threes will be like, yeah, that he's sick. Like, and, and yeah. we'll probably go towards him. But like, if you're thinking footbally and technically, you 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 think donkey. Do you know what I mean? How is he? Mm. How is he a centre half sometimes? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's mm. that's why he's I'm really passing. In training, but, yeah, nuts. His range of passing is crazy, journey, he is and also journey. also the journey as well. Like he, he's yeah. he's done the journey and made it to the first team and still there. Mm. So like he's probably the one to look up to in that respect. But yeah, hundred percent. Well. Even on that on that thing, you know, you look at the, the the current team now and how many of the academy boys are in there or you know or played mm. for the first into, yeah. team. You, you you've yeah. got loads now. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it, it's a good pathway, and there is a pathway there. It's just. Obviously, for me, it was just I have to go on a different journey and and, ha- and have a different pathway. No, hundred percent. And is it, is it um, in the first team? Are you boys with Aaron Connolly? Is that right? Yeah, I'm good mates with Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. What's he, what's he like? Have you got like a bit of a bromance going on at the club? Yeah, it's a, it's hard. Obviously, my best mate um, is really good mates with him. Um, me and Az get along well. You know, we played together in the twenty threes, um, eighteens as well. So kind of when that, so as soon as he joined Brighton, really, I was. I was there with him the whole way sort of thing. So mm. we, we've got a good relationship. Obviously, we go out, you know, when we can. You know, we, 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 play, we play golf quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go golf quite a lot, to be fair. But, um, and he, yeah, he ain't no. bad at that, to be fair. But, I was going to say, I was going to, I was going to ask you, who's that golfer? You, you're, you're Aaron. I'm going to back myself and say me, but he might say <laughs> something different. <laughs> I mean, but we'll have to, we'll have to wait and, and see also, comments on that. Other than Jason Steele, because I know he plays every day, like, who is the best goal, golfer at the club, do you think? Lana, yeah. I, I, when I was speaking to Steely, he did say the Lana was very good. Um, but oh, uh, yeah, to be fair, that. to be fair, I've never actually seen, apart from Aaron, I've never actually seen the the, the first team boys where you play. They they we all have different days off, so normally on their days oh, okay. off, they'll, they'll go and play and, mm. and do their thing. But we haven't really been to, together apart from over with, with us, yeah. Cool. Oh, decent. Nice, mate. All right, mate. Well, listen, we got we got plenty more questions for you. We're gonna we'll get yeah, into we'll all them, into them a bit, yeah, yeah, a bit later on. But we'll just quickly, just because every week we discuss the game that's just gone past. So, um, yeah, we'll just quickly discuss um the West Ham game, of course. Uh, a one all draw, which wasn't about you know worst result in the in the world, to be honest with you. We were a decent West Ham team. Um, just just we'll start with you, Danny. Um, what were your yeah, what were your initial res- uh, sort of thoughts on the result and and the performance itself? I think you know. With the first thing, it, it's it's quite boring because it's the same thing each week. You play good football, you know. We dominate. <laughs> we dominate Tell teams. It, Danny. Uh, okay. We dominate teams, but you know, we we never get that final push. And and especially you know with 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 the what was it going eighty fourth or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, to, to, to have yeah. six to have six minutes left or whatever, and you know, and concede. It's just it's just kind of probably sums up our season in a bit in a way. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because I think I saw some stat, you know, the amount of points we've dropped from league. 25. Leading. Yeah, 25. Yeah. You mean, you look at that and think, you know, if we had 25 more points, where Brian would be in the league? Do you know what I mean? Oh, mad. Yeah. yeah. 60, 65. That would put such champions yeah. in the Xbox. Yeah, well, the XG. Well, look at that. Yeah. The XG would be right towards. Yeah, I think XG champions, boys. Yeah, yeah. To, Danny. See, since you know quite a lot of the squad, like, you know, what would you put if you can say? I mean, because you can say we can't score goals, but then we concede so quickly. I mean, do you reckon that's a mentality thing? or I, I don't know, because, you know, I think it's hard because we play such nice football, you know, we do score goals, but we just never score enough. If you know, it's just, it's a hard one to, yeah, to say. Yeah. I don't think there's a right or wrong. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. Either. Football is obviously to, to score goals. Um, mm. and and I think when especially when you're West Ham you look, they've had a great season this year do you know what I mean and I, mm. if, if it was me you know playing and we score in the, in the 80 odd minute you know all we've got to do is sit back and literally just park the bus I think you'd rather you know <laughs> have a last scrappy 10 minutes and, and get three points and you know concede do, do, and, a, Jose, do a Jose Mourinho yeah, in the last yeah, 10 do a Jose yeah. Mourinho yeah 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 <laughs> But, it, but yeah, sometimes you need that though, that grind out. I, don't, I still, I'm not convinced we've got that in us to grind it out. And you know, no, nah. I, I think, know, I think we do. Though. We got the we got the defensive stats to back it up. Like mm. I think Andy Naylor tweeted yeah, it earlier. It's like we're sixth best 
what, six least uh, goals conceded, something like that, level with mm. Man United and Liverpool, league, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So we do have a solid defence. So it is quite surprising that we do leak these goals at such mm. unfortunate times and we can't hold on to leads. We've got like, I think, the I best think stats in nearly everything now, haven't we? We've got the best stats in midfield, best stats in defence, some of the best chances created, all that sort of thing. And yet we're... 17. As- yeah, I just can't work yeah. out. What, what are we doing wrong? What, just, what's going just wrong? Just one, one question I got for you, Danny. Actually, on, on that, uh, the right uh, point that Ryan makes within the club, is there like bat- like do the boys banter the forwards for you know like obviously when they go through these? So because I, as as a forward yourself, is there a lot of banter before, between the lads? Like do they like oh, come on lads, like put it in the back of the net, or is it all quite nice? No, you'd be you'd be surprised. I think you know football banter is very harsh banter. You've got to have. Yeah. Uh, a very level head like you've got to be able to take a lot and but at the same time if if someone gives it they've got to be able to take it back as well so it's like it's one of them ones you know because i'm sure donkey would have got a bit of stick for the red card do you know what i mean or or yeah yeah. someone would have got a bit of stick for for something they've done it i think it's just part and parcel of being a footballer and you know if if it it, at the end of the day if if you miss one one week and someone banters you and then the next week you're going to score in the last minute and you have all the right to say whatever you want to them, then. Do you know what I mean? So it's yeah, one of them yeah. ones, really. But there is yeah. there, there is banter that goes along, but it's normally you know within reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah someone like might high. be sensitive. Yeah, like yeah, say, yeah, yeah. yeah, If someone's not scored for nine games and you're a striker, and then you're like, "Come on, mate, sort it out." That might be a bit yeah. of a sensitive. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's jokes. All right, no, no I, I appreciate, <laughs> appreciate the. Yeah, <laughs> you can't, you can't get, get too much away. Um, but no, I, I, all in all, I think just just speaking personally, I think yeah, it was one of those games. Was a bit, I'll be honest, up until the what seventy minute, eightieth minute, whenever we scored, where, whatever it was, I'll be honest, it was one of the deadest games I watched. I was just like, what am I doing? Like even my, my missus turned around to me, she goes, Maz, do we have to watch this?" I was like, "I'm." Fo- I asked my question. I asked myself <laughs> that question every week. Yeah, I was just, every like, week. I, uh, you know, it wasn't if great. It wasn't but for the podcast, it, we could yeah, take yeah. the games <laughs> off, but. I'm literally, literally. Now. but per, you know, Percy Tower, we've got a big, big shout out to Percy. He's a great, great assist, wasn't it, for the for the World Bet goal? Yeah. Pass. Let's talk about Percy Cam. Finally, um, just yeah. just so you know, Danny, we've got South a we've got a segment content. called Percy Cam. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, like five, ten k. Yeah, to get for the South audience, we do a, a Percy Cam, but unfortunately, we haven't been able to do one for about twelve weeks. Yeah. So um, we finally <laughs> we can do. One. Um, yeah, no. What, what, what when we think? first signed Danny, when we first signed Percy Tower, we got like seventy thousand views in one of our YouTube videos. It was nuts. Yeah. <laughs> we just completely blew up. Yeah, all because so, like, we gave a lot to them. <laughs> so then we dedicate a segment to him, and then he just doesn't play. So can't really talk about. It. But um, on Percy, <laughs> um, yeah, unbelievable assist, quality assist. But we've got to kind of talk Kevin about the gross. I think great, on, great interception. Gave to Lana, nice little turn. He kind of uh, peeled away from Declan Rice, didn't he? And Declan was in mm. kind of like no man's land and. Yeah, yeah, what an assist. Great through ball. Yeah, yeah I, think I, I think I say what a finish as well. So nice. uh, yeah, yeah, great yeah. Finish, oh, yeah. Oh, mate. finish was unbelievable. That's, that's a topic in itself, Welbeck. I mean, for me, I'll take the other week now. Yeah, he, he does yeah. have a chip. I, I think no, it's I, brought I, chip I, 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 to, <laughs> Go on, right. speak at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Percy, now, um, to be fair, I mean, he's been out of the team since, what, February, right? So yeah. to come in... Mm for the first time since February and then put a ball like that, look sharp, take a few players on. I thought he did quite well. I mean, if we are talking for the yeah. South Africans, I've got... And maybe they're mm. right. Maybe well, maybe it ha- we have been calling out for Percy Tal, but I would quite mm. like to see him as and uh, Dan um, against Man City tomorrow night because um, yeah. I think why not? I think they've all been quite sharp. I think they look quite good. Danny, I don't know what you my, think. My, my only... Guy Wells. <laughs> yeah, but... oh, yeah, go on, Danny. Yeah, Danny, on, Danny on Danny. Here we go. <laughs> no, to be fair, you know, when I've trained with him, he is he came down with us once just before he came back from uh injury and um he ripped it up. It was like that is that was the first that was the first time I saw him um up close and kind of training with him. Uh and he, he ripped us to part and then obviously when I was over with the first team he did the same and he played on the wing in that and we played a little game and he played on the wing. He comes mm-hmm. in, you know, him and Alana, you know, shot link up and then he <laughs> He does the same thing. He just chips steely, and it's you. You then you still you see him do the same thing on the weekend, and it's, and and even his goal up against Leeds was it? Oh, I yeah. mean, oh, that, yeah. that 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 finish is was you know it was just that's, that's unreal. Great. You can't you can't teach that. that that's insane. I mean, he's, you know I mean, he's had his best season, hasn't he? Since <clears throat> he's left yeah. Man United 2013-14 yeah. or something. His best goal scoring season. We're getting the best out of him, that's for sure. I think. Why would mm. he want to? 
didn't do very well at Watford. Um, mm. Didn't have the I was going to ask that, Rob. Yeah, I've got go to on. ask. Obviously, we're all saying, um, are we going to give him a contract? But like, we should kind of ask a question. Are we going to be the best team that can offers him a contract? Hold of him? Because, yeah, yeah. yeah, can we keep hold of him now? That should be the question because he's, yeah. it's what I think it's like four goals in eight games mm-hmm. now. And he's, yeah, he's hitting some decent form. There's no doubt in his quality. He looks pretty good. So I like, think yeah, mate, will, a, will a team yeah. above above us maybe come in for him instead? Yeah, I mean, I think I think with Danny, I think you've you got... When you keep him fit, he is a he's a proven Premier League player. Do you know what I mean? He is he is a Premier League player, and I think bringing him in <clears throat> in the summer was only added to 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 the squad as well as as Alano. Like you, Brighton are becoming a bigger brand. Like they're getting bigger players in, which is only going to help in the future. But like like you said, it's up, it's up to him if if he wants to stay. He might want a, a challenge, you know, where he's not kind of in a relegation battle. But yeah, realistically, Brighton don't deserve to be in one, but they are. Yeah, I think the yeah, thing no, is exactly. with Welbeck is, as I say earlier, we're getting the best out of him now. And, you know, maybe he, he could be, I don't know him, but he could be a money-driven guy. He might want to go to a bigger club and I wouldn't blame him for it because he's had a good season, let's face it. But I think if you, if it works this well, you've got the relationship with Alana as well. I think why not just stay? I mean, it's clear to see that Brighton aren't exactly, as you say, a relegation club, even though we are down there. We're not, we're not as bad as it looks. You know, there's a there's mm-hmm. a reasonable chance that we could be top half next season. You know, there's no reason why not if we can make a few decent additions in the summer. Mm. I don't see any reason why Danny wouldn't want to stay if, if he, you know, if he gets the right contract. It could be a thing of that's what the club that's not what being I'm saying. Able to like, him. Um, but I think contract wise, system people, perfectly. People always say like when you're 29, 30, like that's when your last big contract comes. After that, like yeah, that, that's like you dedicate three years to <clears> the <throat> club if you're around that age. Um, so this is could be his last big contract and if we could offer him what he's after then hopefully or well, hopefully he'll mm. pay us back for us giving him a chance back in the Premier League you know yeah. Yeah. what, what, what would you do Dan, Danny back in October yeah, yeah. I, I was slating yeah. him I'm not going to lie I, I was killing him off uh, when he hey. first signed I'm not going to lie I, I, really do you know what it was I, I thought I thought he was because of his season at Watford I was like he's dead he's dead he's finished uh, he's proven mm. me wrong, and I'll, I'll, and I'll happily eat my words. I, you know, he's, he's done really well. I'm not, I can't, I, I can't, I can't, can't say anything wrong. bad. He proved a lot of people wrong. I'll save you a bit. Yeah, he, yeah, he definitely yeah. proved a lot of people wrong. And like yeah. we ran a poll but, recently, and it was like ninety eight percent keep. But if you'd done that when we signed mm. him, I think people would. Have been oh, saying so you got to give credit to Potter. To be fair, I mean, like he's getting the best out of him. I mean, it's clear that it isn't as easy to just get these the best out of these players. I mean, Danny, you mm. probably know better than any of we would about you know getting the best out of players, but. To me, it seems like Potter knows exactly what it is to get it out of these players. I mean, you can say it for so many. I mean, the amount of quality he can get out of players is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously, like you just said, you know, the way the gaffer plays, it, you have to buy into that. Like, and that mm. takes time. That doesn't come overnight. I think definitely. You, you look at where we were probably two years ago, and and now you're looking at like teams of like you know Pep Guardiola, Guardiola who says. Like Brighton are a very good team to play against. Like mm. they're very hard, and you know, two years ago Brighton wouldn't have that. They'd Never be just known that. for, you know, long ball. You know, just making sure we don't concede and kind of mm, hoping yeah. for a goal. <clears throat> I think the players have bought into what the gaffer wants, and there's that relationship now where everyone's kind of on the same page. It's just, yeah, you know, mm. we're playing all the nice, pretty football, and we're dominating pretty much ninety percent of games. It's just that, yeah, when like and the way I said it in the last interview before, I went. You know, we had what like eighty something possession against Crystal Palace, but we lost two one. And and mm. at the end of the day, in, in two years' cool. time, no one's going to remember us having eighty five percent possession. No, They're just going to remember we're we're losing, and and that's the yeah. the biggest thing that needs to change. I think. Yeah. As, I mean, if you had as a striker. Okay. Sorry, I was <clears throat> I was going to ask about Potter. <clears throat> uh, just asking. Yeah. Now, have you had much interaction with him? <clears throat> um, have you spoke to him much? Uh, what's he like? Because everyone says he's a great man manager. <clears throat> Uh, is that true? Is it? What's he like? Yeah, well, I think he's um, he's quite he's quite quiet. I think you know he's quite a quiet guy. Yeah. I never thought of that. Obviously, the, my first time meeting him and seeing him, he was quite quiet, quite relaxed, quite you know, not doesn't really show two emotions about certain things. He's quite just focused. Where you know his his staff like Billy and Bjorn, you know, they're probably the best guys that I've probably met through managers. I think they're they speak to yeah. everyone. It seems like everyone yeah. loves them. You know, wow. they do. They get along with everyone, and and I think that was quite a, a shock to see when I went over the first time. Whenever uh, when the gaffer joined, I think everyone seems to love 
you know, them two and, and obviously the gaffer as well. But, you know, when he's the gaffer, you know, there's that certain level of respect to, you know, he's the boss and mm. kind of, you know, having that jokey, jokey feeling about. But he, he's good. He is good. On yeah, Billy, um, a picture went round last week of him in like a really leery blue suit when he was in Rockwater. Have you boys seen oh, it? Oh, yeah. Sort of. I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen Have it. You not? <laughs> oh, man. I was wondering. I was like, I was going to ask if you guys okay. like, Ryan, met Tripel up. I was going to ask <clears> if um, <throat> the club or any of the players have been ripping him all week or if he lost a bet because oh. they're basically like Bruno <laughs> Potter all wearing like casual stuff. And then Billy's there with like a leery uh, baby blue That's suit. Cool. It's just, is he quite a character around the training ground? Yeah, uh, but going back to that, I guarantee, I guarantee one of the boys would have saw that and he would have got ripped in, in training today or something <laughs> yeah. like that. I guarantee it. But, um, you know, like he's, he's, a good, he's a good guy around the place. He, he's um, not shy to talk to anyone. He, he's very open and he's very honest. And, you know, I think that's the best trait to have. I think. And on, well, on the coaching stuff still, on Potter, he's obviously kind of brought in a style of play where we're kind of known for making all of these unbelievable chances, or unbelievable chances, making a lot of chances per game. As a striker that doesn't play for Brighton, you're looking to move. Would they look... Yeah, no, sorry, there's the picture. How hilarious is <laughs> that? as a striker let's say like Tammy Abraham for example would he be looking at a club like Brighton that has all these chances and thinking I, I would be there because I could put some of them away is, is that something that strikers think of yeah but I think when you're all comparing to let's say Tammy Abraham you're looking at him right now and he's sitting on the bench in the Champions League final and then he's gonna yeah. you're looking at right if I go to a Brighton they finish, let's just say we finished 17th this year. They finished one place above the relegation zone. I've gone from the Champions League final to yeah. potentially it's like next an ego, year. ego you know, thing. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it comes into place because it, like he's probably on a, a lot of money at Chelsea mm, and yeah. Brighton probably might not be able to to afford that. And and I mean, he, he's, I don't know if I can say he's a proven goal scorer in the Prem, but he does score goals. But you hey, know, he's, he's playing. He's Chelsea's got, top goal scorer. Yeah, yeah. Think but right. um, yeah. you got to remember like, that's that's Chelsea, do you know what I mean? And and, mm, and yeah. we're Brighton. We're we're not at that level yet. And I mm. think sometimes if he he knows he's going to get four or five chances a game. Where at Brighton, obviously we've been playing a lot of nice football, but you still against the bigger teams might get one if you're lucky. And if he's yeah. missing a couple, then next year we could be saying, well, he could, he was a waste of 20, 30 mil. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Maybe for you, it could be a question for you actually. You're looking for a new club. Well, there is a few questions later about that, but. Are you? Would you look in depth into clubs that are potentially interested and say, would you look at their stats and think these guys create chances? They play good football. I want to join them, or is it more what are my options? Like, do you? How, yeah, how deep do you look into it? I think yeah. I think a lot of things go in, into you know where you go next. I think ultimately, as a, I mean, I can only speak for myself. You know, yeah. it might be money might drive someone else, but for me, you know, it's about playing football and and, and playing week in week out week out and, and having you know a, trying to show what you can do really but you know I think like you said going back to stats and that you 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 because there's so many now you see them so much and they're on so many platforms it, it becomes natural just to see that and I think you know with Brighton and an example for, for Tammy he's obviously going to want to send the Premier League or something and I don't think going to a Brighton would be a bad thing but you know there's it's it's hard as a footballer because you've got the pros and cons of you know. Mm. I think at, yeah. at I'm not I'm not at the stage where you know money is you know I'm paying for four or five gaffs and you know four or yeah. five cars and you know <laughs> yeah. so th then things all come into place and and family and that so it, like for me I'm not at that stage yet you know I'm still younger so mm. then things haven't sort of hit me yet where for someone else they might. Mm. No, I mean course. it's a sort of like, no, that makes a lot of sense. For me personally, anyway, I think it's really hard. We've never seen two, three hundred grand a week. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous sort of money. These huge players are up. But for me, I think football's such a short career. And if I was good enough to play at a good level, I think you'd, you'd have to play because 10 years game. And if you get injured, that's a lot less. I mean, it's, it's not a long career at all. And, you know, if you waste a little bit by money on and wanting to you know swap clubs every two seconds getting dropped because your attitude i just think what's the point because you know, it's not going to get you anywhere yeah. the contracts but you know, that career is so short what wouldn't you want to enjoy i mean it's most kids dream to play football in front yeah. of a crowd 
playing the Premier League, playing the Champions League, and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, obviously it's gonna be different for the likes of Tammy Abraham or something. I mean, he's done all that. He knows. He knows he can get a big contract, but mm. yeah, I don't yeah. think Abraham's I mean, even in the question for a new striker at Brighton. To be yeah, honest. yeah. I was <laughs> no, gonna say, I, I, th- I think we're punching a little bit above our weight, lads. When you, yeah. It's like when you go into a nightclub, mate. You see a ten out of ten, and you're like, I, I fancy my chances with her. <laughs> you absolutely fall flat on your face. We interrupt this incredible podcast to bring you a word from our sponsor, Manscaped. <laughs> I know, <laughs> that's right. Seagull Social has got a sponsor. Let's fucking go. Uh, Come on. We've made it, boys. Mama, we, we made, made it. it. <laughs> Mama, we oh, made it. We're cashing in. We, should we got be the bag. Like, we should yeah. be a really crazy We sold out, boys. Sorry. Advert, I reckon. We, we sold, sold out. out. The, the bag... The bag is, uh, funnily enough, the bag is called the Perfect Package, and we're going to talk to you about that. So, so Manscaped have just launched in the UK. Um, we've gone years without using the right tools for the job. You could be one of the first men in the UK to experience their life-changing products. Now, Obviously, lockdown's lifting in it, so you boys want to clean clean downstairs when you start chatting to some birds, and this is these these are the guys for you. Um, little oh story, little story God. for me. Um, these guys oh have some like new new technology. <laughs> it literally, man. they've got some new technology, right? And uh, last time, you know, you you, tr- you trim your hairs, and then sometimes it gets caught. So it's pain you don't want. So that's why Manscaped have redesigned the electric trimmer. The Manscaped engineering team has perfected the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created and just released the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0 in the UK, which we have been sent, and it is here. Lovely. I'm going to do the makeup stuff. There you go. Yeah. Uh, their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents that I've once had. I don't know if you boys have as well. Have you? Uh, thankfully not, Ben. Thankfully not. I'm, I'm, I'm Actually, more, well, good tell her. Actually, we probably should have, surely. I've, I've, I've had minor cuts. I've never had anything like horrendous happen, though. Yeah, yeah. To be I've fair, yeah, my mum's cut my hair once and it's done that. It's not a nice not, not feeling. Yeah. But when I tell you this is premium, I mean premium, lads. So the battery will last up to 90 minutes so you can take a longer shave. So you could shave for a whole football match if you wanted to. Um, if the I game's mean, that good boring. To I don't know how I mean, hairy to be you fair, have to be. Like, I'm, I'm super hairy. <laughs> I was going to say, Matt, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know, like, I don't think I'd need an hour and a half, though, to get rid of this. What about if you're swimming? Because it's waterproof technology. It allows you to groom in the shower. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> One of the what coolest. The hell? When, I want to shave, <laughs> when I'm showering. Yeah, really cool. oh, well, because it's waterproof, mate. You can now. So mm. the, one of the coolest features, yeah. though, is this the light. You can hear that. Oh, that does the LED really light. Cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, and uh, that's for like you get to see the hairs on your nipples. Oh, you know, properly get in close to the skin um, for more precise trimming. Uh, they've also upgraded to a seven thousand RPM motor called Quiet Stroke, and we all love a Quiet Stroke, don't we, lads? <laughs> <laughs> and let's not forget about the charging stand. I hate you so much. <laughs> yeah, I no, so do I. Let's not forget about the charging stand. Um, so show off your mower loud and proud in your bathroom. Uh, it's intelligently designed, and the stand is convenient charging dock powered by USB. So none of them funny shaving ports. You can just do it by USB. Charge yeah. your phone. Charge your trimmer. It's the uh, the new age. If you're listening to me. Speak right now. I want you to experience it first hand for yourself. Let's get that bush and tush clean. So you can get 20% off plus free delivery with the code seagulls at manscaped.com. So that's seagulls. Um, make your testies their besties. Uh, Ryan, what's uh, what's the stuff that you liked? Well, actually, I was going to go on a nicer route and I was going to talk about the cancer awareness, which Manscaped have teamed yeah. up with to form basically more awareness towards cancer and particularly in men aged between 15 to 35, particularly with prostate and testicular cancer, which is a huge thing. And basically, yeah, make sure you go get checked. Do not have worries or be embarrassed. Mm. Sort it yeah. out. And mm. thank you. Their, their, mar- their marketing is unbelievable. Let's be honest. And um, I've obviously yeah. picked the greatest podcast as well. Finally took them there. Yeah. 37, 37 <laughs> episodes in, but they finally done it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then they're, what about their uh, ball toner? So they've got ball oh. toners in this perfect package. And then what else we got there? It genuinely, it genuinely, smells, it genuinely smells really nice. Like I'm not even That's saying that decent. because it's an advert. It genuinely smells good. Like you could probably have that as aftershave and get away with it. it yeah. I know, we were saying nice. off air, like I would put it on my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I, I don't recommend putting it on your face, but I mean, it's that good that you can. Probably be all right. Like, the probably well, well let's go on a night out and see who pulls with that on their face. That's just what I'm going to say. Uh, but um, even though it's lawn mower, it's kind of talking about the whole like downstairs area. I used it to shave my chest and like the nipple area. Just I used to shave my to... huge beard. To be fair, That's yeah, I was going to say Ryan's needs, obviously needs used it just now. So, um, yeah, as you can so, see. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> the get to twenty. Yeah, like I said, you can get twenty percent off for free delivery with the code Seagulls at manscaped.com, and there'll be a link in the description. That is twenty percent off with free delivery at manscaped.com and use the code Seagulls. 
your balls will thank you. And also as well, finally, from me, uh, you get a nice little wash bag as well. Looks nice. Yeah, quite handy. I've always Great, wanted it's a take, it, take it on holiday. Wash bag. Yeah, there you go. Bomb towel. Yep. Nice. Your balls will thank you. <laughs> Manscaped.com, link in description. Let's get back on the show. Right, let's crack on then. Uh, let's crack on with the questions then. So yeah, we got loads of questions sent in on Twitter and Instagram. Um, so I'll kick us off, um, and then yeah, we'll just pick, we'll pick some out, and then we'll, yeah, hopefully get some good stuff out of it. Hopefully. So, um, so talking about the academy then. So this is sort of two questions in one. Uh, it's from BHA Ollie. Um, who's the best oh, player in the academy himself. at the moment? Shout out BHA Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Being a <laughs> At the moment, I think you know. It's hard because I've got a lot of mates there, do you know what I mean? So it's, it's one of them ones. But I'm just going to say, if you're going off stats, which what everyone you know, normally got, does, you just got to say... Quality that you know. Just do it. Who cares? Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Quality. I'm, I'm, Who do you think is the biggest baller? Uh, is it you? You're going to say you, aren't you? No, no, no. no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to go say, if we've got best stats, you know, our top goal scorer, so I'm going to say Ted. All right, okay. Decent, yeah. decent. Great ball. And just for everyone, Ted Jenks, says everyone. So, <clears throat> yeah. And then, and then the second part of that question, and this is from someone else. Um, this is from Alec, BHFC. He said, um, who do you think will make their Premier League debut first out of the academy? Ooh. At the current club? Um, that's, that, that is hard because you've got to look at the boys as well coming out, coming back from loan. So, like, if, mm, if yeah. I, I think... Brighton value, uh, but they value Ted and, and Jensen quite a lot. So I'd probably say, but then Ted's already made his debut. So I'd go Jensen. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Jensen. Jensen. I tell you, oh, that's that, another one we didn't even mention. Is it, how do you say it? Am I saying that right? Oh, oh yeah. Moises. Yeah. Moises. 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 Have you, have you spoke to him much? Is he, is he a good guy? I mean, that's, he's only time recently, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good guy. He speaks literally no English, but um, um, yeah. <laughs> he, he is, he's been a good guy. He's, he's just keeps himself to himself. You know, he obviously he's, yeah. he speaks to like the, the boys who obviously can speak his language and that. But obviously when he came down with us, it was um, quite hard for him to adapt and kind of understand yeah. things. But he, he was he was professional about everything and, and, he, and, he play, and he played really well in every game, to be fair. So, yeah. you know, he looks like a really yeah, do you good, think, good player. Do you think he can go far? Do you think that... You agree with like the media because a lot of people, well, some people have been saying he's like the best talent to come out of South South America. Yeah. More recently, like is that? Have you seen that? And potentially in him? Um, I mean, that's a big statement. It is a big a, statement. A, yeah, it's a big, <laughs> yeah, it's a big statement. Yeah. Um, but you can see it. But I think from you know where he was before, he just needs to kind of adapt to to mm. to England and probably you know the way the gaffer wants to play it and give him time to be able to you know fulfill his p- potential it's like a bit like Pesuma you know when he first came he, he was nowhere near as what he is now do you know what I mean you're looking at yeah. like 30 yeah, 40 million for him now where mm. you know I think Moises can kind of take this, the, the same kind of pathway and, and steps as Pesuma yeah. I think definitely yeah. we said yeah, it when we first signed him didn't we like it's a m- massive massive change for him like imagine being that young and moving from completely different culture being dropped in Brighton living in Brighton mm. and then you go to training with all these people you don't speak languages maybe few people do speak your language it, I couldn't imagine being that young and being dropped in yeah there. it must yeah, be it probably must I take saw a the lot. video of him leaving Ecuador mum and his dad or something yeah saying goodbye and he was literally family. crying his eyes out 19 years old moving from Ecuador coming mm. to England not knowing a single word of English you'd just be I couldn't even imagine that at 19 leaving leaving home to go yeah. that far abroad it's just mad I mean it's that but I think mate. I think going obviously to what you're saying, you know, everyone in the world knows about the Premier League. Everyone wants to come mm-hmm. to England to play football. Do you know what I mean? And I guarantee his mum and dad will probably stand at the airport saying, like, you've got to do this. Do you know what I mean? And it's one of them ones where it, it, <laughs> you, it, it, you, you can't say no. Do you know what I mean? Go. You can't, though. It's, it's, no, you've, got right, to, right. Yeah, you've got to go. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think... Uh, I th- he seems like he's settled in now, I think. You know, whenever we was over the first time in the change with me, he seems like... Um, you know, he gets on people speak Spanish and that, and, and, and I think he speaks that kind of sort of language. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, uh, he, he seems all right as, as long as he knows as long as he knows the word pass, eh, Danny? As long as he, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Like, pass, pass yeah. The ball, that's, that's all you care about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, just just on the follow, follow up on that, just just oh. quickly, sorry, Ryan. Um, just with regards to the whole um, sort of playing abroad and stuff, would you would you ever go abroad? Would you ever play? Uh, abroad? Has that ever been an option for you? Good question. Uh, 
yeah, it, yeah, it has. I think it's. I think it's also a dream as well. You know, it's a dream to to play ab- abroad. I think eventually in my career, you know, if it plans out how it has in my head, do you know what I mean? But uh, um, it, I, I would do it. I think you know, it, Goes it's such a you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't make. I wouldn't mind taking that career. Do you know what I mean? But, you um, you and Bellingham doing bits out in in the Bundesliga. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. And, uh, yeah, Sam, to be fair, Bundesliga. I mean, they'd make some class yeah. talent. Yeah, that's true, actually. That'd but it's not even that. I think the culture of football over there is so much, so probably better than 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 England. Yeah, I think the is. fans are very passionate, and and yeah. you know, yeah. the games always sell out and everything. You Cheap know, tickets, so think, mate. Ninety pounds yeah, yeah, for a season ticket for Bayern Munich. You're laughing, and, yeah, and you can drink, mad, and you can drink in yeah. the stands. Like, what more could you want? I need to move. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, tell you what cool. I do at the Amex, Danny, because you can't, you can't rat on us now. We used to get the coffee cups uh, at the uh, stands because they'd be like empty ones that you'd ask them to fill up. And then we would pour yeah, the yeah. beer in there, and then walk out in the stands like holding it as if it's like Bovril or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's smart. That, <laughs> it's, it's I didn't think so that. You, you can have that one, Danny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to another, on to another one. So you got Sam F one sixty nine. I don't know if you'll get this. I hope you do. He says, does Romaric Yappy exist? <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know if I get it. I don't know if I get it. He doesn't get the reference. He doesn't get the reference. Oh, Harvey's so, not that uh, There's a guy, down, mate. There's a guy called BHA Harvey on, on Twitter, oh, and he, yeah. he reps the Yappy account. And I, I think oh, wow. Rappy's, uh, Yappy's had some interaction with him before. But basically, like, everyone like says Yappy doesn't exist and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a bit of like a football bright Twitter kind of joke. Um, oh, but yeah. how does it... How, a bit of context. Co- yeah. Then Collins has 12 says, how did it feel to work alongside him? Like what's what's he like in the dressing room? Um yeah, he, he's a he's a French <laughs> you know to be fair, in the mornings he don't because he rolls in fucking like, two minutes before breakfast just like a zombie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, he don't you know where he is, but um, you know when he's when he's having a laugh, he is, he's a funny guy, but um uh, and he's the quickest player I think I've ever seen play football, to be oh, fair. Really? But really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he a pace merchant or is he, he's got a bit of... Yeah, um, got... I mean, he, he, he literally just kicks... Uh, he, does, he doesn't do it enough. He just needs to get the ball, kick it and run and no one will catch like him. Like Will Buckley uh, used to do. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. No, everyone seems Chip to just love, there, you know, step overs and, and all that. When realistically, mm. if you look at trial rate, he just kicks it and runs sometimes and no one catches <laughs> it. Right? It's, it's simple. simple. That's to be fair to him. Lampy, yeah, yeah, yeah like, he's the best. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, the best. Yeah. I know that. On, y- on Yappy, though. Lead on to this one, isn't it? Sorry, I'll okay, you, you, you finish yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to make. I'm trying to last this one for the last three. What was the, <laughs> oh, you'll get it. You'll get it. I was going to say, what was kind of the feeling in the dressing room? Because a lad coming from PSG, mm. was there any like, like, what's this lad going to be like? Is he going to be <clears> up <throat> himself at all? Was there any like speculation like that at all or worries? No, I think you know when you hear things like that, um, you just kind of keep yourself to yourself at the start, and you know you kind of let everything come into play like you know he obviously he's, he wasn't wasn't English didn't really speak English then so um you know giving him time to kind of just adapt and, and see where everything is and kind of you know just introduce yourself slowly into things you know where then they can kind of open up a bit more to you and then obviously two two years or wherever he's been there you know he, he speaks good English now and, and gets on with most of the team so I think it's just a process you know like for, for foreign players it's, it's just a process you need to you need mm. to do Mm. I remember like when Gareth I think Bale, it was when we signed him. Or when he for six years. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I was to say when we signed Yappy, I think there was a picture of him like wearing like double denim with like rips everywhere. I was like, oh no, what's this bloke about? <laughs> but yeah. obviously, he says he's a good guy, so it's good to know. Oh, also, good, I can't good that lie. BHO Harvey knows. His fashion is questionable. I can't lie. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's got the worst club? Yeah, yeah. yeah, who's got the best and worst? Oh. Best and worst. Oh, the worst clubber without a doubt is called. I don't, if, do you know Laurent Tolage? Oh, oh yeah, um, is he the Romanian yeah. guy? <laughs> <laughs> is no, he the Romanian he's, guy? He's Switzerland, Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland. Yeah, okay, Switzerland. okay, okay. He's got, he's got the worst. He will come in looking like, like Eminem in the nineties with <laughs> like grey trackies, and I swear to God, he'll walk in with grey trackies and a vest, like a no, white no. vest. No, no. I saw him playing of, golf. I saw him playing golf at West Hove. I went there and he was on the driver range wearing that. I was like, what is yeah, this yeah. bloke going <laughs> with, with the boys are just, there? He'll just walk in, like, just, just, just strolling through, like, he doesn't care. Do you know what I mean? And everyone's like, are you all right, mate? <laughs> <laughs> but, Danny, who's the best? Who's got the best uh, clothing? Who's got the best? Best um, I don't know. It's quite, it's quite a few boys that, 
all right, to be fair. strongly has got a good, good clobber. Uh, Mark Leonard has got a uh, uh, good clobber. Rocco, every now and then, he's, he's either good or he's very bad. Do you know what I mean? One of them ones. <laughs> like Catuso, uh, sometimes very good, sometimes very shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Um, right, no, Ryan, uh, what you can ask a question, though. Go on, Ryan. Yeah. Go on, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan's question. Oh, yeah, I've got my like, questions, Lord. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to say this guy's act because it's just stupid. Just sort your ass out. Anyway, he said, which Brighton player will make it the furthest? I, I don't know if he needs under 23 first team or in general. Do you know what? Go pre- Just go first team and under 23s. Who's going to make it the furthest out of both of them? Right now in the first team, I see going the furthest, Ben White. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe uh, Lamptey. Yeah, Lamptey, Bissouma, White, I think, top three, you reckon? Yeah, 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 they're the top three. But I think, you know, with the year, with the last two years White he's had, I think he's probably attracted the most interest from what I've yeah. seen. Mm. Um, um, when you say the furthest, how far do you think White can go? Like, what, what do you think is his ceiling? I think I I see him going all the way. Like, as in, he'll play in, the, in every competition, I think. Yeah, Champions yeah, League, internationals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, future England captain. I don't know about that. I don't see him as a captain. I don't. Oh, really? But okay. I, I, I can see him, you know, playing for England one day. Uh, you know, yeah. soon. We spoke about that last week, actually, about uh, when donkeys yeah, are, when donkey got sent off. The leadership's la- kind of lacking, but yeah, you know, we saying. might be wrong. But like, yeah, maybe you have kind of backed up saying that Ben White's not really captain material. Who else, other but, than Donkey and maybe Lalana, who are kind of the leaders in that dressing room? Um. Or would you agree with us? I Is that something that we're lacking? I, I think you you spot on with Dunkey and uh, and Adam. You know they mm. are like even in in training. Adams, you know he's he's like it's like he's playing Man City in training. He's bang on it. Everyone yeah, like yeah, that's it. yeah and 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 the thing is, you can tell he's come from. Liverpool, like you just look at him, his mm. touch is a joke. Is a is like everything he does is just spot on. Do you know what I mean? It's one mm. of them ones where you're like you're shocked, but um. Uh, maybe, may, it's hard, you know, I think, you know, Joel apart from, you know, when Matt it, Ryan... Was, <clears throat> not, I don't think he is that, really. I think, you know, if Dunkey goes, you know, he's, it's a big who miss. Who takes the because, armband, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I generally don't know who I'd give it to. You know, maybe maybe yeah, Danny Rolbeck, but then he's only on a, he's only on a year. About, yeah, what about Bobby Sanchez? Is he, is he, good? <clears throat> is he a good leader, Bobby Sanchez? Yeah, I think, to be fair, you know, I think most keepers are always loud. So, you know, I yeah. wouldn't be a bad shout. But then, you know, he's, what, Sorry, 23, I imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah 23 yeah. years old. We said he's just come in. Brian. Yeah. Danny, he hasn't that really earned well. the right maybe to shout at yeah, yeah. all this defence yet, just yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Danny, yeah. that's a good question, actually. Like, what's your take on Bobby Sanchez? I mean, you, you'd have played with him a lot. Um, and obviously, he's just come in. Fourth choice <clears> centre, <throat> uh, first, what, first? I can't speak. Fourth choice goalkeeper <laughs> beginning of the season at Rochdale, Forest Green. Now he's first choice at Brighton. It's mad. I mean, could you see that coming or not? No, no, no. <laughs> I never, <laughs> Fair ever. Enough. I know. It's been like you can, you could. I can see what he's got. And you know what I mean, mm. I think he's sick. I think he's a, he's a joke. But then His first when you're saying it, ridiculous. It's, he doesn't even look like yeah, he's ever yeah. stressed. Nah, he, but his his kicking is his kicking is a joke. He, he like he's got everything as a that a goalkeeper needs. He's tall. He's yeah, quick. Yeah. Um, he mm. can kick. Uh, he's good with his feet. He's got everything yeah. he needs. You know, sometimes his attitudes, you know, a bit questionable. But um, <laughs> you know, I think well, I think, that, I think well, that's, that's not a bad thing to have. Yeah. Yeah. What, what we mean, yeah. what we talk? It's a bit of a, a bit of a hot head or what? Yeah, I think just a bit of a you know. One of them ones, yeah. You know, everyone loses their red every now and then, and the sea's red. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It goes a bit crazy, but um, goalkeeper, aren't they? Yeah, goalkeeper, yeah. Can you imagine yeah. it being a bit hard? You've got to be crazy to be a goalie. You've yeah. got to be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's actually fact. Uh, yeah, just on, on that. Be... that... Oh, sorry, go on, go on. Finish, finish oh, your answer. I was sorry. Just say, I think you've got to be weird to be a keeper. I don't really know. <laughs> Normal <laughs> keepers. I'm so happy I let you finish your sentence there because that was brilliant. Um, just, just, just on that, Danny. Just on that, Danny. Um, with regards to, yeah, like funny stories. What's the, we've got one from Joel Bird here. Um, what's the funniest story uh, that you've experienced like whilst you were time at Brighton? What's, the, what's like that one moment you just think that's hilarious or that was the funniest thing that could happen? Even if it's first teams or you're, you know, under 23s, whatever. 
Yeah, uh, so it was actually quite younger, actually. We, um, I don't know, it weren't, like, I wasn't involved, but I was there and uh, we, we had education at this point. And um, yes, back in them days, like, only a certain amount of people could go down to, to, to go to the toilet. And um, in the toilet, you've got like the sink there, the toilet, and then you've got like the, the hands where you pull out the, the paper. Yeah. Mm. So we've all gone down and uh, someone's come back up um, and just said that someone's taking a piss in, in, the, in like the toilet where you just put it open flaps and it flaps out. <laughs> someone's decided to take a piss in that. And uh, <laughs> next thing I know, it's all, it's all gone a bit mad and um, everyone's, everyone's off. So the whole, like, it went from 18, 16, 15, it's all got pulled up into the, to the canteen. Because mm-hmm. um, it, it was like a serious thing. And we're all standing there, the 18 are looking at us going, oh, which one of you little mugs have done it? You know? yeah, like, yeah. They, they, they wanted to go home and obviously we were, we were keeping them there. And we were like, everyone was like, we don't know who had done it. Next thing I know, this this, uh, this this boy called Emerson gets gets um, called in because they thought he did it. He, he was Is a bit of a Emerson, hothead as well. The youngster. No, no, no. no, no I was going to say not that Emerson. Oh, no, no. <laughs> someone, he was he's he got released about five years ago, but oh, okay. oh, yeah, right. he gets pulled in and then he gets he gets done for it, like as if they didn't have any proof, but they just saw on a video camera like he went into the change room at some point. The next thing I know, right. like he gets released, blah blah blah. Oh, and this, this mate, yeah, it was, it was quite serious. Well, this mate comes in. He, to be fair, he wasn't going to make it. To be fair to him, but I mean, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he, he were, he, honest, you know, it, it was always going to happen. It was always going to happen. And then um, my mate comes in, and I'm not going to say his name. My mate comes in, and he goes, "Yeah, it was me." <laughs> 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 and we're all sitting there, we're all no, sitting there like, oh my god, like, no, fucking no dump it. And then, oh, that was probably so one of the funniest times of, uh, found out who it was, so they just let him go. Nah, never found out. Oh and god, just man. to confirm, and just to confirm, is that is that mate still the is he still you don't tell us who it was, but is he still with the under twenty threes now, your mate? No, no, he's no, not, okay. He's okay, not. okay, okay, okay. And this might be oh. a bit graphic, so tell me to stop. But so like how how did this work? So he pulled off the lid and then did he like aim at the like the cloths so that they were like proper soggy and then put it back on so that people pull it out wet? <laughs> nah, nah, so that would have been a better idea, but because it was so I should have been a footballer, mate. I should have been a footballer. <laughs> he, he, he filled it up like it comes down as if like it, and it comes like around. And he's right. just, he's filled it all the way up and he's just left it there. So when you go in, the first thing you do, like, and you're trying to look at, you just see piss what? in your face. You know I mean? Oh, man. That's but, mad. That that's a, mad. That, that is mad. actually grim. That is, that is a great, great story. That's though. a good, that leads story, us on yeah. to this one from James yeah. Fullard, actually, because he said, who's the biggest joker at the club? I mean, it sounds like there's mm. some stories that must just be ridiculous. Because if that's, if that's one yeah. of them. I can only yeah. <laughs> especially yeah. in the under 16s and stuff so it must be mad like, in the, like, I, 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 there you go yeah, yeah but uh, to be I think you know I think I think I'm up there as a joker I think you know I like having oh, yeah. a bit of a, taking a piss quite a bit but what's the best, I think what's the the best 20... prank you've pulled have you pulled any good ones I think it's it's one of them ones where every day you just try and piss someone off like oh <laughs> Your, That's your intention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You come today, first thing. Yeah. In the first thing in the morning, you know, you take their, take their stuff, dump it in the shower, turn the shower on, put it back, leave it hanging, <laughs> soaking wet. But I'm, mm-hmm. I've, I've had to go home in, in my training kit day for some days, like because people have like, there could be like, um, you know, uh, deep heat like in your pants where you like, you know, you oh. stick your, yeah. your, your, your privates and your armpits, your socks, mate. It, get, it got ruthless, mate. It got to the point where actually we we started taking car keys. And obviously mm, I live right. 30 minutes away. So we took Ted's car keys once. No, actually I'll tell a lie. We had COVID tests and um, mm. it was at three. We finished around one. So we're, um, uh, I couldn't go home because I couldn't be bothered to travel 30 minutes back and then 30, and, do you know what I mean? It was just like chaos. So I thought, you know what, Ted's gone home. He lives, he lives 10, 15 minutes away. I thought, that right, boy, just let's uh, let's go to Ted's house and just go to this petrol station, get a load of stuff from the thingy. Let's go and ruin his car. <laughs> so we thought, we've gone to his house. We've gone to his house. We've seen his car there. We've seen his car there. We've got, we've got, we bought six eggs. We bought whipped cream and we bought shaving foam. So we get, so we get to his house. He's in his house and he's parked on the end. And we're like, all right, perfect. So we get out. <laughs> Crack the egg, two eggs on the car. We've drawn a massive, <laughs> massive dick on the on the on the, the thing, written his name across it, just covered the whole car in front, walked back. He he puts a message in the 23's group chat going, 
Right, who's done that then? He was <laughs> so angry. And he got us back, to be fair. He took all our car keys, because he found out who it was. He took all our car keys, and he made us stay there for four hours after trying to finish. <laughs> to, four to, hours? Yeah. I'm trying that's to find class. We had really yeah, our really... things. Oh, it was I've got odds. I've got odds. <laughs> what, what car did Teddy have? Uh, then he had uh, he had a C coupe. Oh, oh I'm decent. I'm decent. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Naughty. So oh, that's so joke. That's joke. My car got trashed like that. I'd be so. <laughs> Oh, thing is, yeah. I, I bet I bet that kind of stuff though is like not not common, but it's like one of those, especially when you're younger. Do you know what I mean, when you're growing up, like what, 18, 17, 18, whatever, it's like what everyone does. Do you know what I mean, like as, as lads, especially in that environment as well, it's just oh, yeah. what you're doing it. It's part of parcel being a footballer. I think you got to do it. It's, yeah. it's funny. Do you know what I mean, you just got to take yeah. it on the head and and just laugh about it, you know, get no, back or something like that. Yeah, I, think, I feel no, like 100%. I was just living constant anxiety just from like fourteen. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh mate, the, the anxiety is a joke. It's, it's, just, I want to concentrate on the football, but lunch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a yeah, Carlsberg kid, that's sick. Just to make sure all stuff is still there and dry, do you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, Jesus. Jesus. that's funny, man. That's it's like funny. me having Matthew right. Boss on absolute ropes every single day of the week, it's class. <laughs> 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 Got to get his name in somehow. Right, um, yeah. next one. Um, I was going to say, we got more of a serious Robin. question here. So I think we got kind of one fairly light-hearted one. Actually, no, I'll do that and then we'll move on to a couple of the more the more serious ones. So this one's a bit light-hearted. So someone asked, where would you get your hair cut? And he's asked that because apparently you said you want to become a barber. And also, um, on the looks thing, are you Aaron Connolly's long-lost brother, apparently? Who asked that? Yeah, I, I think <laughs> I saw Morris. that one, actually. Um, <laughs> did, well, did you want to be a barber? No, it's not uh, It's not that I wanted to be a barber. I think, you know, I got asked the question, um, what would I do if I weren't a footballer? And I said, to be honest, I've never really actually thought about it. I just thought, mm. I just said in the interview, I said, look, I'm not going to lie, I like getting my hair cut, so let's just say a barber. So I think <laughs> yeah, he's kind yeah. of, Fair enough. he's got that off that. Do you know what fresh I mean? Fresh trim. Yeah, I do like a fresh trim every now and then. Do you know what I mean? Was it, was it every, every week or every couple of weeks? What, what, what are we saying? It's normally to be like every nine days, like a week to two very, weeks would be. That's when you know, oh, listen, yeah, that's when you know someone takes their hair very seriously. Nine days. He, nine, nine days. <laughs> the, thing the, is, the thing is, yeah, the thing is, my hair actually grows way too much. Like, I'll get a skin Mate, same, yeah. Man. And like yeah, yeah. four days later, it's like, trust me, I haven't had a trim. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it just gets better. Got, so you got to look fresh in it. You got to look fresh, Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when my barber, when, when he does it, he always calls me White Drake. So like, I'm always going to be going back as soon as possible. With like that compliment, just yeah, keeps yeah, that coming is. back. That is. Talk, obviously, talking to Drake, obviously, it's absolutely talk, not true. Absolutely not true. But yeah, talk, talking it. to Drake, Danny, are you, are you a Drake for like, what was your, what's your go to genre? Like, are you the one playing music in a changing room or? Is that someone else's duties? No, to be fair, I think to, everyone takes turn. It depends what you're feeling like. Some days could be like, you know, we want a bit of house. And, and then, but most days it is normally like hip hop and, you know, like that sort of, you know, bit Dre, of Future, yeah. yeah, yeah. All them lot. Um, that little Baby, I think, you know, he's the go at the moment. I think everyone plays him. Do you know what I mean? I yeah, think he's yeah, sick, yeah. but. Um, Lil, ba Lil Baby Drew Leaper, is that your favourite? Yeah, yeah, same. I'm, I'm all about UK rap, mate. UK rap to, for the win. Mm, but anyway, yeah, next question. Um, next question. So we've got uh, what's the best moment in your career so far? And that was from uh, Reese BTN. Uh, best moment is probably you know playing for England. I think that's my best. best. Yeah, I can see that. I'm proud of moment. Yeah. yeah, you got got the shirt back there. Uh, how many caps you got for? And what age age group was that? That was 17s. I've got I've played 15 times for England. Oh I mad! With about mad. I think about six goals. I think something like that. Oh, that's decent, nice little return at Danny. Games, yeah, six goals, it, and then been released by Brighton. That makes sense. Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah. Show them the numbers. Show them the, numbers. Yeah. <laughs> show them the receipts. Just go. Just show them receipts, mate. Uh, nah, but um, okay. So, so obviously, who? who when did you make a debut? Who? Who did you play against for England? My debut actually, it was it was actually one of them pitches up there. I think it was against Turkey. Oh, yeah. It was against Turkey. Um, did you bag? Uh, 
No, but I got an assist actually. That was that was oh, on my, on I'll my take that. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I started on the bench. I can't lie. So you, you oh, decent. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, lovely, but, lovely. Um, yeah, it was it was a good feeling. That was probably the proudest moment I've been. Nice. Yeah, I mean, good. yeah. To say you play for England is is always a, a, a huge accolade. And do you reckon? Do you reckon like? Do you reckon you'll play for England again at, at any sort of stage? Do you believe that? Yeah, I, I've got plan. Like I, I've, uh, I'll, that's, I've got goals that I want to. You know, hopefully next year. You know, wherever I am, and, and hopefully, if obviously, if I you know work hard and kind of get to where I want to be, and you know, make a certain amount of you know appearances, get amount of goals. Um, I'd yeah. like to hopefully like to think I'd be in for a chance to, be, to get back into England because I think you know. It's just one of them feelings you you don't forget, and there's there's no better feeling. I mean, no, what's some reasonable sort of goals now? Because you obviously you can do whatever you want going into the next season. I mean, what's what's the reasonable goals? <clears throat> Have you got many clubs interested? Is there is there an idea of what where you want to go next, or is it still in the air at the minute? <clears throat> no, so I think um, obviously I've had quite a bit of interest to be fair, which was always quite nice to hear. And and mm. you know, I've always I've always said you know if I wasn't in the position I am now, um, or when I left, um, I'd probably be a bit more be a bit more worried about you know where I'm going to be next year. But <clears throat> um, you know I'm pretty settled on I think where I'm going and um, you know what I want to do and, and what you know I can achieve there and ultimately what you know what they can do for me and, and I can do for them. I think that's probably you know where my head is at. And I any think, hints um, you can give us, maybe a few hours uh, of the night. Yeah. I was going to say, does, 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 any, does any this come of an ending tree? just just drop us a, the first letter no i'm joking no um yeah, no so you is it just 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 so um just so an idea have you had an office abroad have you had an office like in the in the football league yeah so i mean i've had um to be fair, <laughs> <laughs> I've, had, I've, had none, I've had none abroad that that i've had none abroad that my agent messaged me about to be fair so i can't say that um mm-hmm. it's you know, if it was a, it's something I wouldn't rule out, I'd always say that. I wouldn't rule any, you know, any club out regardless of what league yeah. you're in. I mean, you I can't in this football. position. Like, you, yeah, you football can change in a day, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And your life will change yeah. quickly. So, um, but I've had, you know, uh, you know, quite a lot of, you know, I've had, you know, champ, league one, league two, um, mm. all, all kind of, you know, get in touch. So it's, yeah, it's been yeah. quite good. That's good. Nice, okay, man. put nice. this in an imaginary world, right? You go to a club, whoever it might that be. Playing- Baby blue. <laughs> no, but genuinely, what, what's this? To, com- to, what's this commentary thing about? I don't get it. What's I don't know. I swear, everyone, everyone just keeps saying commentary, but everywhere. yeah. All yeah. oh, right, okay. I've seen that. No, I've okay. seen that. Yeah. Okay. But no, okay. J- right. aside, you go to a club. <laughs> um, so you do quite well. Would would you would you actually come back to Brighton if you did all right? Would you think ah oh, come back or just think nah? Do you know what? Let me go. If you come back, just celebrate. If you score in the Amex, you know, would you would you do that or would you come back? Um, I think you know. First of all, I think if you know wherever I'm next, and I play, and if we ever play against Brian, you know, I, I think if I score, you know, which you know, Why you know, me? If, so. if, if, <laughs> <laughs> it will be my next kind of my next like dream. You know, I want to play against Brian at the Amex, you know, and yeah. and score the winning goal. That that's my, and yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I may celebrate so. No, Hopefully it'll that. be a friendly, Mate, not an important match. 100% do it. No, honestly, too right, too it. right. You got would, honestly, take, take, your take your shirt off, take you take your top off, and you got you got to have like Graham Potter with an with like a. Uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should have, <laughs> like a cross. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm but, messing. I'm messing. No, but no, definitely. Like I think, uh, do you know what? And um, it's a question to you, Danny. Like we've we've because you see a lot of ex pros. Yeah, some of them don't celebrate like really respectful. You know, give it the whole sort of silent sort of hands up, sorry kind of thing. Go absolutely mental and like chill well uh, on the weekend. Chill well, yeah. Uh, yeah, chill well. So, what's your stance on this? Are you all about like, yeah, like you know, are you which which camp are you in? What's which side are you in? I don't know. I think I think that's that's a hard one. I think if you've been there for a long time, as in, and you and you've made something of yourself there, you know, as in like you were a legend, not like me who's been there through the academy where no one really knows. Mm. You know, like mm. in my situation, I would celebrate because I've done nothing for the club. But like in a in a, a Lampard when he went to to City, that kind of respect yeah. there. But I, I would never. I don't. I don't think if you celebrate against your old team, you're you know bad person or anything. It I just think, depends you know, on yeah. the moment as well. There's no better feeling. Yeah, yeah, there's no better feeling than scoring a goal. Do you know what I mean? Wait, imagine scoring the last minute winner and say if I played for Brighton for a long time, did all right, went to 
I don't even know, Man United and scored a winning goal for against Brighton, you best believe I'm going to celebrate. I mean, if you've scored yeah, the last yeah. minute, you're going to celebrate. You're, you, yeah, your emotions are going mad. Surely. I'll, I'll be I mean, giving it the Ryan Giggs. I'll be giving it the Ryan Giggs, head, you know, shirt over the head, my, my chest out. I mean, I'd love it, mate. I'd... You've got similar yeah, chest out as well, to be fair, Baz. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm an angry bastard. So, um, yeah, they'd love that. Um, but no, um, no, 100%, I, I'm, I'm, I'm team yeah, celebrate all, all the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you smash their corner flags down. <laughs> right, final two questions for you, uh, Danny. So um, I'll I'll do the last one, and then and then you, Ryan, can sort of see us out. Um, so who's the best player you played with and against? And that's from Arch Warner. With um, would probably be right now uh, Mason Greenwood. Oh, mad! Where, where, where you play with I'm assuming for England. Oh, England, England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you know. Yeah, I'll tell a story actually. You know, we were, I don't know who we I can't remember who we were playing. I think it was just like a little friendly uh, for like some, some minutes or something. And we had a free kick outside the box. Um, and uh, there was two teams. I was on the other team at this point. And um, he shaped up with his, uh, with his, uh, it was either his right foot or his left foot. And we thought it was the opposite. So we're all looking at him like, what's this guy? What's this, what's this guy doing? Like, First time we've ever seen like Mason like that, like that. He just goes with his weak or what we thought it was weak foot, whips it top bins. Everyone's standing there like, what's that? What's this guy? What's this guy doing? <laughs> yeah. like, that's, that's not normal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Him, him or Bakayo at this precise moment would be um would be the, be the best player. Yeah, you must have you must have some mad England team. So you play with Bakayo Saka uh, and also with uh, Greenwood as well. Yeah, uh, Curtis Jones as well, actually. To her. Oh, mad! That's a, that's a serious, that's a serious collection. That decent, yeah. very good. Very good. And then, and then again, now are they too? Are they just too big for you now? Like nah, nah, I can speak to <laughs> too big time. Yeah. Uh, we played against Mason about a, two years ago. We said hello, um, for Kyo, We, you know, we still got each other on on uh, Instagram and that. So, oh, okay. um, you know, there's still that sort it's of good connection. To hear they're but like still down to earth rather than just. Thinking mm. they're above it, now. yeah. But I, I think you know, you as you grow older and you know, you become more famous in the, in their situations. You know, you, um, you have to be careful of more things. I think you, you follow less people just naturally, just because you want your circles to be smaller. I think, and I think I don't, mm. I would blame them, yeah, that's I mean? true. Yeah, I've always done the same Spe- thing, I think, especially with Greenwood in, in Iceland. That, that, that wasn't a good look, was it? <laughs> 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 oh, so, yeah, I, I, I had to drop that way in. Ryan, do you want to see us out, mate? Last question. Uh, yes, yeah, this one's from Jay. Why do I get the stupid ats for? JMD. Hey, <laughs> yeah, JMD. Stupid name. Um, are there any Brighton <laughs> fans? <laughs> Sorry. Are there any Brighton fans that currently play in the academy? That's actually a pretty good question, to be fair. Mm. Are there any Brighton fans that play? Yeah. I think there's. I think there's one. One. Is the there? top. What, that, <laughs> that's good that, that just shows that how good, good. more we progress I suppose that's only but I think I think as as you know the age groups are coming up Brighton are getting bigger so yeah, the yeah, players yeah. They, they're they bringing in are from like London yeah. now and, yeah, yeah. and like rather than actually from the local area yeah mm. so I think the only person right now who does support Brighton I think is uh, Ed Turns Okay. I don't know what about Toby I, Ball? Yeah, yeah I don't know. What about Toby Ball? Because he, he he follows us and he loves like all our content on uh on Instagram and we should, uh, yeah, he's eighteen. Well. Oh, is he eighteen? Oh, right, right. Yeah, right, he's, right, yeah, right. he's yeah, he's eighteen. Yeah, he's younger. Oh, yeah, he's, okay, okay. He's younger. Right, right, right. My bad, my bad. Okay, so uh, who 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 who's the ch- who's the guy you said? Sorry, Ed Turns, centre back. He's he's actually an eight. He's actually an eighteen as well, but he was. Pushed up 23s permanently this year, so obviously that's right. and and he lives I feel like quite I've close. I've seen his name on a football manager before. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> I think I think I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. All all good from the uh, questions from Twitter and Instagram. Ben's buffering. Yeah? I know he doesn't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> my back. <laughs> yeah, you're back. You're back. You're no, you're not good. actually. You're I was good. just saying, you're just lagging out. Right. <laughs> okay. So let, let's because what we I appreciate we we've kept you on for quite a while. So we'll try and just go through this last bit just quite quickly. We have got the Man City preview, um, and then yeah, we can, should we keep? 
Yeah, yeah, we talk about Welbeck, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just quickly, quick mention about our new partnership with Hibs. Um, so yeah, we're, we're working with uh, Hibernian now in, in the Scottish League, Premier League, I believe. Um, so we're going to have like a thing. So actually, quite interesting, actually, Danny, because obviously you're on the pod, yeah, exactly. so I might as well ask you. Yeah, it's, it's quite a good question, actually. So obviously, yeah, there's going to be a new relationship, sort of, you know, players going on loan um, and vice versa. Like we can maybe like get some of their best players, etc. Do you think, that's a, obviously, do you see that as beneficial or do you see that more of a threat to the, the current crop? Or is that, do you think that's a, it's a benefit? I think I think that will be used for uh, players from like the 23s or like, for instance, let's say Moises right now, who could probably mm. do with a game, you know, and there might be able, able to be, you know, <clears throat> some sort of arrangement where he can. But I think then with that, you know, obviously the loan deals are six months. You can't do like a game game loan. So I think, you know, that'd be quite hard. But I mean, I think mm. it's I think that's a very good thing to have for the academy. So it will make us boys be able to be in a first team environment quicker and sooner because you can then go and play there and then come back and mm. you have that experience of you know playing you know in front of fans uh for points and uh in the first team so i think it's a good i think it's a good thing no definitely it's good for like no, I'm looking, the under I'm 18 and stuff i reckon even younger because all due respect <clears> to <throat> you know scottish football it's pretty rubbish isn't it but i think <laughs> on, if you're on <laughs> scottish football <laughs> If you're if you're a good player like in the under twenty threes, you're probably gonna be getting a decent low move to the championship league one. And if you're yeah. probably under 18, 17 year old who looks quite good, send them to Scotland, give them a bit of more experience but, that you're not gonna get in the under 18s. Yeah. But I think I think with, with Scottish League, obviously, yeah, look, let, let's be perfectly frank, it is it is obviously not it's, the it's standard dire. Premier it's League, but any, yeah, it, <laughs> Don't, don't yeah, okay. I was trying to be more di- 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 diplomatic, but yeah, you no. can describe it like that. <laughs> but no, like when you play against like, Rangers and Celtics, they, like there's a big, there's a big gap, isn't there, between Celtic and Rangers to like the Hibs and the Aberdeens. Do you know what I mean, it's a big, nah, Hibs, it's a big Hibs tr- a Champions sort of. League, mate. Hibs are a Champions League, mate. <laughs> uh, we'll, 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 we'll send them up. I messaged our, I messaged our Scottish correspondent, so Chris Hamill from Football Daily. We've had him on previously as a guest. Um, oh, I messaged him because about it because he kind of knows his Scottish football. So he says, interesting, he wants to do a bit more reading. Um, he said that they're very solid at developing championship talent for the last decade. And obviously, uh, more recently, John McGinn. They also have mm, a oh, guy called Josh Doig, who's linked with Arsenal literally like three days ago. He says that he wouldn't oh, be really? surprised if we're going for him, if that's maybe part of the partnership. So yeah, they, they do produce some yes. decent talent and it could be a bit, but yeah, it could be beneficial. Yeah, if you, yeah, decent. For you, Danny, like maybe a few years ago and you saw this, would you maybe be interested in going to Scotland to play uh, first team football? Yeah, and that, like I said before, I wouldn't rule anything out. I think as a footballer, oh. you know, at, I think the younger you play first team, the better because you know you'll have that experience mm-hmm. earlier than than other people. And I think you know, going in having this sort of um, or so yeah, just chatting about Hibs. Danny's phone's mm. overheated, but now <laughs> we're all good. He's back. back. Seven degree burns on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, so yeah, just just um, I don't know where you, where we got to, Danny, but um, you're just basically talking about the yeah, your if you would go to Hibs basically on loan and um, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. So obviously, I was saying, um, I think the like the younger you go, I think the better. I think that's better for your your career, your your experience. Yeah. I think every manager I think you 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 play under will always say that you know experience is a massive thing, and and if a, if a manager can trust you, then then really you you can. You, you've got a lot of power there, so, you know, to to, to mm. fight for a, for a place rather than you know someone like me in this in this situation where you know I haven't done anything yet. You know, see mm. playing for England, that it doesn't really it doesn't really mean anything because you know yeah. it was it was at a younger age where you know people want experience and people want to want to be able to trust you to to know that you can do the job. And I think having that um, on the side, I think um, is only going to be beneficial to to the players because they're going to be able to, to play first team football earlier and, you know, and sooner rather than later. Mm. No, hundred percent. hundred percent. No, it'll be interesting. I, I think it's, I think it's a really good partnership. It's a good, yeah. it's a good step for us because it's sort of like a feeder club, isn't it? Yeah. So up the Hibs, up Scottish football. Um, so right. Seen, let's feeder clubs we've got now. Well, we've got the, the Belgian, oh, one, haven't we? So we've got Union. Yes. Yeah. 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 I can't uh, say that name. Yeah. That one. <laughs> yeah. Union something. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. Let's get into Belgium. it then, boys. Let's wrap it up. Um, Man City preview. Obviously, now we're safe. It's all good. Easy. You don't win. have to worry about it, really. Easy. Easy. Win. Win. Easy <laughs> Thing is, wait, who saw Ferran Torres? Uh, his goal. That was silly. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Joe, mate. Man. The Joe, little, Joe. little back hill. Um, yeah, I mean, look, let's be frank. Uh, they're probably still going to be on it. Even though they've won the league, they're still probably going to w- want to put a good performance in. What do you reckon, Danny? What do you reckon our chances are of getting a result? 
Um, it's, I think to be fair, you know, every time we played, actually, I say that we we, we we I think we got absolutely smashed last time. But um, no, no, it was one 0 wasn't it? We lost one 0 Yeah, we did right. Yeah, we usually yeah. do it right. I think we, yeah. we lost yeah. four 0 to them once at the Etihad. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was what I think of. But yeah. I, like, if we. I think he said something about how we played last time. So I can I can actually see us. I can't see us winning, but I can see us. Nah. I can see us. We'll do it right. Like yeah, I, I can see us fighting, losing grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, I think it'll be a good game. Yeah. I think that'll be it. Yeah. No, hundred percent. Hopefully, hopefully they're it? playing Scott Carson in goal again. Because if Joel Lewis <laughs> scores against him, then we'll get yeah, a shot right. on target. You score. <laughs> yeah. uh, we need to get we need to get Neil Mopay's suspension taken away just so he can score. Yeah. Just so yeah. can get, get, get a couple of goals against the uh, more stick big Scott and Carson. Burn up front or in goal. Uh, either way, <laughs> <laughs> burning goal. Oh man, I can't wait to be back at the Amex. Oh, it's been so long. It's been yeah. so yeah. Long. Oh yeah, Rob, you're going to the game, aren't you? Yeah, you're yeah, going to the oh, game. Yeah. Ticket here, sorted out. Mate, by, honestly, um, the boys. Copper night and Budweiser sending me this. Unreal. Yeah. Uh, they sent me a whole case go. of Budweiser. The shape, the shape, yeah. the shape they sent me a whole case of Budweiser and they've sent me for four free tickets. Uh, Mind it. your yeah. scanner though, right? Yeah. Someone's probably going to print screen this and use your ticket, lad. You forgot you forgot hashtag ad at the end of that. Um, but yeah, hashtag, we, we hashtag, don't, we don't, hashtag sponsor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but on a serious note, um, uh, uh, was it the Leicester uh, Chelsea FA Cup final? The, oh, just yeah. having the crowd in for that, honestly, I was like, this is class. Like the crowd yeah. were amazing. When was it when um, obviously Chill had his goal ruled out? The scenes was um, yeah. like the limbs were Everyone class. Was the Warnock. Everyone was doing the Warnock. Everyone was doing the Warnock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as a Chelsea good. fan, were man. you gutted at the time with that result? Oh, I mean, I was. Uh, I, I didn't think we were actually that good. I just thought we kept going no. through. Like every time we had a corner, we ended up with our goalkeeper. I was getting so angry. You know, I'm, I'm quite passionate. Mm-hmm. But then, obviously, when Chilwell scored in the last minute, I'm going mental. And then, you know, the next thing you see, and I hate VAR. I hate it with a passion. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I think mm-hmm. in my eyes, that that is just it just ruins football. But mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. It's Facts. just one of them things, but uh, Mark, to be fair, my my agent went, was at the game and he said it, it was he, it was class and uh, yeah, he it's, it, it he's, just... he's missed it. Yeah, it made it just seemed that the atmosphere was electric. Like even with the, such a small amount of people, the fact that they could make so yeah, much not generate right? so much noise. Yeah, it was mad. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I can't. Uh, Ryan, though, I'm very jealous like... of you. Very jealous. Yeah, well, even the um, even the game. Where did I go? Southampton. Was this, um... Southampton. Yeah, that was, yeah, there, yeah, there yeah, was literally well. like no one. Yeah, that was stupid. But yeah, there's literally like no one there in that game. There's only 2,500. So now there's 8,000. Mm. It'll probably mm. be quite a decent... At- like, it won't be right, but it'll still be decent. It's like That's with Dean level, that is. Yeah, I think I'm three seats away from my mates. So it's going to be a bit strange because... And we have to wear masks. Oh, is it still proper, like, segregated yeah, and stuff? Yeah, I think it's socially distanced and all that still. Um, oh. I don't know about the concourses, but we'll see. Absolutely. But so what, when you... you, you, you mean, like, if we score, though, so what are you going to do? Just, like, clap and not talk to anyone? Like, what's it? <laughs> yeah. What's all about? Do you know what I mean? Me. Matt Hancock you put the thumbs up, wasn't hugging it? so loud if you hug carefully now. So we'll just hug uh, carefully yeah, if maybe. we score. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I don't know what the rules oh, are, to man. be honest with you. But I'm pretty sure it's all socially distanced. That's the health declaration form and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had I mean, six tickets it's... to this game because um, my I got yeah, two didn't get any of them. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> 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 Mark, mate, you know, so, you know, you for true I friends are. I've seen my friends in like two years. COVID, uh, COVID has meant I've actually followed the rules, unlike some on this podcast. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> six, nine, six nine is on the pod. Thank you. Yeah, you're absolute snitch, mate. Uh, right, anyway, on that note, on that note. Danny, uh, actually, no, for, for, before we go, actually, yeah. let's get the predictions, Ben. Predictions. predictions. Yeah. 2-1 uh, City. Brian? 2-0 <laughs> um, win. Okay. Mate, why not? Why not? Why not? Never Danny? Know. Carson's in goal. I think I'm going to go 3-1 uh, City. Yeah. yeah, I was about. I was going to do that, but I'm going to be a bit more conservative. I'll go. I'll go two one, two one. Make it. Make it a game. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to say well better um, to score again. And smashed. if we start Jahan Bash, who yeah, I little chip, that, chip did he chip? Like, done class against West Ham, yeah. but well, not class, but yeah, yeah. he did actually. He's good. Yeah. He Jahan Bash go good. actually. I'm switching it. He's really oh, changed. Oh, like, boys, overhead kick. Overhead kick. Massively though, because everyone was against him. All of our fans were against him. Now like. The majority of our fans rate it. And Danny, do you have much yeah. interaction with Ali Razor or not? Oh yeah, uh, he's he's such a nice guy, mate. Um, yeah, he is. I think he's uh, he's 
he's um he's, he's such a professional as well you know he, every mm-hmm. every time we train he was staying out you know after we we do some extra shooting together and um when I when I was with him the other day to be fair you know we, he was he was nothing but nice to me you know we said we said bye to be fair and um he wished me all the best and I did the same to be fair so he's a top bloke yeah. to be fair good look, good looking bloke as well isn't he Iran, mate, yeah. next, top, being, next top model as well it's, 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 the Iranian, it's the Iranian jeans mate that's what yeah. I'm telling you boy yeah. we we got the jeans mate the Iran, cut, Iranian yeah. gang. <laughs> yeah, I need to get my hair cut. Yeah, I've so, got, got the same barbarism as well, so you know, that's what, that's what we do, mate. Um, yeah, right, I'm listen. Uh, What's that? I've got a shirt in the background. Can't actually see it in my shop. I'm yeah, a, yeah. a stink, mate. Um, right, <laughs> anyway. It's been washed. It's been yeah. washed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Danny, listen, you've been an absolute pleasure, mate. Yeah, um, you've been a great, great guest. The stories yeah. have been fantastic. And uh, we really yeah. wish you all the luck. Honestly, it's, it's a, it's a uh, big shame that uh, you're not going to be with us anymore. But we, yeah, we wish you all the luck. Good luck <laughs> 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 uh, but no honestly we wish you all the luck and um yeah we will sure you'll smash it wherever you go to mate um yeah you, you'll you'll be a star mate I'm, I'm sure of it um and then finally danny from you um every week we get we get someone we get a comment down yeah. in the youtube section uh of whoever's <laughs> watching they've got to put a comment down below do you want to put a comment down below what what, what would you suggest for them to say uh about about what? Any, literally anything. Any, anything, any term, any word, any expression, whatever you want. Um, give me an example of one before then. So we've had uh, what we had. Basically, oh, I was yeah. thinking Cashman for England, but yeah. I was, I yeah, I was, no way. I was literally going to say Cashman for England as well. Cashman no, for yeah. Yeah, Cashman we, commentary. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> Cashman <laughs> commentary. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, so, sorry, Danny, we, we've, we've decided it for you, mate, I, we apologise. Um, so yeah, anyone, 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 yeah, if you made it this far, comment on the YouTube comments, Cashman for Coventry, um, and so we know you made it this far, we appreciate all your support. But uh, listen, um, yeah, for, once again, thank you very much, Danny, uh, we hope you all enjoyed this podcast. Um, it was great, oh, you go. go on, Ryan. Uh, it's because Mo Pay is going to miss the rest of the season. Um, he's missed uh, two match suspension. So oh. yeah, what was right. it extended to three? Was it? Um, just reading it. So I think it's five now. Is it five now? Let's find one. Uh... It says one match on this. Fucking one. It this is the this is the worst. This is the worst yeah. breaking news I've ever heard in my life. No, I'm Cheers, reading Jeff. it at the same time. This <laughs> 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 is twenty five grand fine, which is basically pocket money to him anyway. Um, yeah. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Suspension for one match, mm. fine twenty five grand, but then it also says there's an additional two matches, so three games right. and a twenty five grand fine, which oh, is right. cool. so not missing the beginning. Pretty much nothing, season, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Twenty five right. grand, British right. out of his pocket. All right, Neil. Neil, get get sort your shit out, mate. How about that? Right, cool. Listen, listen. Uh, yeah, think, uh, make sure you hit the like uh, button and, of course, subscribe. Really does mean a lot to us. Uh, and of course, keep streaming it on Spotify and Apple Music. Yeah. Much Danny's love. links will be below if you're not following already yes. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. appreciate that. Shout out. Right, safe, Danny. Appreciate all your time, mate. Yeah, cheers, Danny. Thank you. Thank you.